Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with Foundation Engineering in the topic of Pile Foundation. So the problem is, in a 16 pile group, the pile diameter is 45 cm and the center to center spacing of the square group is 1.5 m. If C equal to, the is equal to 50 kN per m square, determine whether the failure would occur with the pile acting individually or group. Neglect bearing at the tip of the pile, then all piles are 10 meter long and take m equal to 0 0.7. So now the given value is, so the pile dia equal to 45 centimeter, so that is 0 0.45 meter, then c equal to 50 kilonewton per meter square, then m equal to 0 0.7 then uh, L equal to 10 meter. So then spacing equal to 1.5 meter. So these are all the given values. So we have to find out uh, uh, whether the failure occur, the pile acting on individually or as a group. Okay. So now we can find out the bearing capacity of uh, each type that is acting individually or uh, in group. So what are the bearing capacities maximum? So we can consider, so that is a safer one. So if the bearing capacity is weaker, so that uh, that will be where failure will occur. Okay. So now we can uh, take So now the uh, also giving the n value is 16 number of piles. So now we can take the breadth B equal to. So the that is a square group. So there are 16 numbers of piles. So the four square groups. So four rows and four column is there. So now the spacing is given the 1.5 meter. So we can now we can take the total breadth B value. So now here is 1.5 here also 1.5 and uh, here also 1.5 so there are 3 1.5 is there so 3 spacing so 3 into 1.5 then here so the diameter divided by 2 and here diameter divided by 2 so we can take 1 diameter okay so diameter divided by 2 plus diameter divided by 2 equal to 1 diameter so totally we got the value of uh, 4.95 meter okay so that is 4.5 meter plus we can take the 4. Point, sorry 0. 0.45 meter so that is totally 4.95 meter okay so now we can take uh, first thing pile acting on a group so now q u g value equal to so the formula is uh, c into 4b into l okay so now we can neglect the pile uh, tip uh, neglect the bearing at the tip of pile so we can take only the uh, friction uh, action so now c equal to we got the value of 50 into 4 into b is 4.95 into l value is 10 meter so these are all the given values now q u g equal to we find out 9900 kilonewton okay so now we can take pile acting individually so now q u g equal to n into number of piles into q u p so the bearing capacity of single piles so now q u p formula is m into c into a p plus c p into a s into n p value so now we can take this one is zero so because uh, pile acting individually so now uh, we can take here the values m value is uh, 0 0.7 that is given and the c value also given uh, that is 50 into there is a p so the pi d l so now a p equal to pi into 
so now ap equal to phi into d into l that is surface area so phi into the diameter is 4.5 0 0.45 into l value is 10 okay so for that q up values we got the value uh, q up the value of 494.55 kilonewton okay so now we can substitute here q ug equal to 16 into 494.55 so now q ug value is uh, 7917 kilonewton okay so now we can compare both the uh, uh, bearing capacity so that is while acting on group so the bearing pressure is a uh, bearing capacity is 9900 and the pile acting individually the bearing capacity is 7917 so this is the maximum so this is uh, safe and this is unsafe okay so now the failure will occur the pile acting individually so this is the result and this is the answer okay so this is a method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you